At the minute, I'm lighting operating for Aftermath of Rochester. It's brilliant. I learned so much during show weeks. I'm working with Adrian, who is brilliant. He's the head technician here, and he knows everything about everything. So he can, he's taught me loads so far about the board and everything I might need to know. I like having the responsibility and being able to run the show and being in charge, which sounds a bit bossy, but I quite like it. I like being part of creating something like a show and being part of the team and like watching it all come together and being organised, organising it all and everything like that. In the first year, the students were Arrive, and then two weeks afterwards is our first season of shows, which is our autumn season. So they're working on three shows within two weeks of being there. Obviously, they're heavily supervised during that time. We don't leave them to it um, completely. But it means that we get to see uh, see them in action. They get to see what we're doing. And so right from the very beginning, they're working in theatre all the way through right until the very end. We shoot a season of short films again, so they get to use some transferable skills. And if that's what they, they're interested in, they could then take that further. Throughout the course, they are working with light designers, sound designers, directors that we're bringing in for each show so they're not in-house they're working with professionals who are working in the industry and then the opportunities then if they if they impress people they can then go off and work on external projects with them we've had people going up to the Edinburgh Fringe with directors we've had people working on short films with sound designers those opportunities are really starting in the first year and work all the way through and then when we get to the third year the third years do um, a placement module and so they go out for six to eight weeks and working within a company that is of interest to them. We've had people at the Royal Opera House, we've had people at the RSC, uh, we've had people at Coventry Belgrade, we've had people at Theatre Cluid, West George Playhouse. So they've, been, they've done really well and got some quite, uh, quite interesting placements and brought that, all that information then back in into the school. One thing I enjoy about the course is the fact that we get to work in lots of different venues. It gives you the experience of working in different theatres, see how different theatres work, different theatres use different types of desks and mixers and it just gives you an opportunity to use different types of equipment and try and get a broad and range for when you go to the outside world. Um, how do the legs finish? How do the feet finish? Is there a little sticky pad on the end or do they just go to a point? I have to try and get it to a point but then have more go through into the tree. So I just have to taper it. At the moment here we're working on building an, an entire installation out of paper which is going to teach us how to work when we don't have a budget so we can make things cheaply. The atmosphere at BSA is really friendly and everyone wants to do well so everyone works hard to get a good final result but it's really relaxed at the same time. It's remembered that you're learning but you get enough pressure on you to make you work to a professional standard. It's important that the stage manager gets good lighting and gets the set built well because absolutely everything stems from you and it all comes down to the final performance so it makes a really big impact on what's going on.